the hell? It's like a hurricane came through. Stay alert. At least we have chopper support. Huh, no such luck. That's a TV helicopter. They're here already? We have wounded. What happened here? It... It was furious. It destroyed everything in its path. What did? A monster. Robo, I'm in the Channel 9 helicopter. I'm seeing a lot of movement on the executive floor. I know exactly where that is. We need to get up there. No, get the injured out of the building. I will handle what is up there. Sure. Positive. So unless everyone is getting it wrong, there's an old friend waiting for you upstairs. You can expect... Trouble? That's right. Make sure there is no one left in the building. Will do, partner. I see you. That thing just moved to the western corner of the executive floor. It Something. from me Robocop my number one guy there seems to be a misunderstanding city's future. That leaves one question. <laughs> Scrapyard or prison creep. Murphy, what the hell was that? 
just an old friend. There is 
one more person here that needs saving. What? Murphy? We are not done yet. Another week passed since the OCP's magnificent giant has fallen. OCP's new CEO assured us that the destruction of its headquarters will not stand in the way of finishing Delta City. Japanese corporation Kanemitsu has already shown interest in OCP's most prominent project. We at Media Break welcome them with open arms. Delta City Yokoso! From the City of Wonders, we're back to Detroit. John Mills goes down in the history of the city as its shortest-serving mayor, excluding premature death. He offered his resignation on his very first day of office. According to a reliable source, Mills expressed, and I quote, I did not sign up to run this dump. Are the new elections ahead of us, and has the city recovered after the previous ones? Now it's time to introduce a new segment, You the Detroiters where we share feel-good stories from our local communities. An escaped python terrorizing the local neighborhood has been reunited with its owners. But that wasn't the only thing that was returned. X-ray of the reptile's insides has shown the stolen watches together with the remains of the thief himself. Pickles, a local addict, was so intoxicated with Nuke that the drug was absorbed by the python, which explains its bizarre behavior. Isn't that food for thought? Finally, we know what is more dangerous than the lack of an ozone layer. Sunblock 5000 model torn to pieces by an ED-209 after not adhering to its instructions. The only witness to the tragedy, Dr. Olivia Blanche, was left delirious after the incident. She stated that mechanical lawman was not to be trusted. We will miss you, Melissa. A defamed reporter funded by terrorists. After trying to illegally broadcast a hit piece aimed at OCP, Samantha Ortiz has been spotted collaborating with a terrorist group led by a woman known in the underworld as Bertha. OCP denies... We're sorry for the disturbance. Fortunately, this time it was a minor one. Let's move on. A new world record has been set in Detroit. A man called Funeral Bob attended his thousandth funeral this year. The record-breaking funeral belonged to Max Becker, a former OCP executive. As it turned out, Bob was its only attendee. The OCP delegation did not arrive due to a rescheduled business meeting. We hope the meeting went well. Moving on, the owner of a local restaurant, Onion Baji, in cahoots with a ring of zoo thieves. The restaurant was proved to source the ingredients through crime. The arrest was made by a rookie neighborhood cop, Ulysses Washington, and according to his statement, it wasn't the first animal he had saved. 
One question still remains unanswered. What happens to RoboCop's human status? We've been informed that due to Mayor Mills's resignation, the matter will not be pursued by his office. RoboCop's efforts have prompted a public conversation. I hope OCP doesn't take him off the street. Who will protect us then? Ah! It's RoboCop! Robo! I love you! Skeleton speaker! The money. Ah. To many more years on the force, Robocop. It's been a busy time for Detroit, but the cloud that lowers over the city is lifting as police end their strike. We're ready to serve, said Officer Ann Lewis, who returned to duty despite her recent injury. What heroism. Detroit can sleep soundly tonight. The question is, for how long? That's all for today. This was Casey Wong. Until next time.